The first Michael Ellis training DVD that will be released in the Building, Drive, and Focus series with Michael Ellis is titled The Power of Training Dogs with Food. This DVD is three hours and 45 minutes long. It's finished and will be ready to ship on July 28, 2009. You can preview the written material and outline for this DVD on our webpage, on our website. I put the address there now. This DVD has been about nine months in the making. In my opinion, it's one of the most powerful dog training DVDs that I've ever produced, and I've done well over a 100. The next several newsletters will contain information on the DVD. If you have watched the free streaming video of Michael's lectures on his training system, and you can see them on my website, you will have a basic understanding about how Michael approaches dog training. The first two DVDs in this series will cover the foundation of Michael's training system. The second DVD will be titled How to Play Tug with Your Dog. I'll be talking more about that in future newsletters. Once trainers understand the foundation of Michael's training system, teaching exercises is easy. The short little video clip in this newsletter is from that DVD. It's a lecture of Michael giving a seminar that he taught in Iowa in which he talks about the importance of keeping your dog engaged with you. Let's listen in. And then for me, step one with every dog is that the dog is engaged with me. They'll stay, they'll stay with me, they'll focus on me, they want what I have. And I can step in, the dog will look at me and go, hey, you got something for me? And if I give them a reward, what do they do right after I give them the reward? And this is the most important part. If I give them a reward and they eat it, and then they go, what was that over there? They're not ready. If I give them a reward and they eat it, and then they're like, where's the next one? Now they're ready. Right? They're telling me I'm staying engaged. If your dog checks out after every reward, not ready. Not ready to, to say, let's well, show how to sit. What we're going to do is, until I can bring my dog in here and have my dog follow me around, look at me, I can reward the dog continuously, the dog stays engaged with me, means they're not eating a piece and going, what's that? They're basically following me around. At that, that point, I've charged my reward word, meaning I've got I've yes, reward, yes, reward. And you can do that anywhere. You can go in your kitchen with your dog's dinner and teach them what the reward marker is. In a couple of sessions, you know, set your bowl of food on the counter, stand there and say, yes, and give them a piece. Yes, and give them a piece. Yes, and give them a piece. And you can charge your reward marker in a couple of sessions. But once the dog understands what that sound is, and then I go out into environments and I hold the dog's attention, I engage the dog in me. Right? And I do whatever's necessary. I need to run around and dance and be happy, whatever I do, what I need to do to keep the dog engaged. Right? And the more engaged the dog is, the more I make that dog activate me. So if I have a dog that's really motivated, really wants what I have, and they're pushing me, then I no longer dance around and I start to stand still. And the dog's energy on me activates me. So the dog, I stand still, I get the dog moving, I stop, when the dog stops and looks at me, I say, yes, boom, and then the action starts. So the dog takes me from a passive state and activates me with their behavior. And then once I have the dog engaged, sit down, whatever, is easy. That's the easy part. But if I only have the dog halfway, or in this case a quarter with me, <laughs> best, then teaching them all that stuff is to nightmare, right? And they learn to hate obedience is the other thing. Because what we tend to do is we start coming out and the dog's not paying attention, so what do we do? We start pulling the dog and pushing them into the position. We're saying, like, sit. And the dog's like, this obedience stinks, man. This is no fun at all. And so I actually condition a, a, a negative mood around obedience. And to the point where the dog will deliberately avoid you. You see this all the time. People that have started got frustrated, started pulling the dog around, and the more they wave stuff and try to get the dog to pay attention, the more the dog goes like, I don't see you. You're not there. The dog will deliberately avoid the person. The stakes, right? So really make the engagement your first priority. Because if you have that, honestly, everything else is easy. And if you don't, it's a nightmare. It really is a nightmare. We've included a large section in my training DVD on how to get and maintain engagement. This lecture is just a few minutes of the beginning of that chapter in the DVD. If you'd like to pre-order our DVD, you can do so from our website shopping cart or by calling our office at 715-235-6502. I include a caveat 
on this video because it's a little different than those that I've produced in the last 10 years. This video footage for this DVD came from a number of Michael seminars over the past two years. Some of the footage was filmed indoors under difficult lighting and sound conditions. The lecture you just watched on engagement is an example. The editing decisions that I made are based on the content of the video clip and not on the quality of the actual clip. I only say this because there are some scenes that the viewer will have to adjust the volume a little bit. Customers should be aware of this before they purchase the tape. My goal is not to produce a Hollywood movie, but rather to, pro to provide my customers with the absolute best information I can give them on how to train their dogs. We anticipate being able to ship these DVDs out on July 28th or July 29th. They're off being pressed right now.